Late night, at 4 a.m. local time, a fox jumps into the chicken yard, attempting to grab a chicken or two, or maybe even all of them. However, as it gets past the fence, it realizes it has one issue, the strength of the chicken coop. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to keep your chickens safe from foxes and several other predators that will attempt to destroy your entire legacies of your flock. All right, so if a fox, bobcat, or anything is trying to get near your chickens, you need to set up their base area. So the base area is where your chickens are going to be for their entire, for the entirety of their life, or at least for the next couple of weeks, because if you have portable chicken or duck coops like I do, well, you're good because, well, you can move them around whenever something gets snatched up by a predator like that. But the first piece of safety in I can give you is the outside. So if you pasture your chickens, here's what you can do. Yeah, sorry. I, my heart is racing for like no reason whatsoever right about now. Anyways, so this fence right here, this is actually an electric fence, but you might be wondering, how am I touching it and it's not electrocuting me? Well, this electric fence isn't on. The farm flux isn't either, but it used to be on. We just haven't had the time to reset that moron back up yet. I was about to say something else, but I caught myself there. But yeah, anyways, the first piece of safety comes there. If you're, if you're planning on keeping them in one area, that is when you want to build a more permanent fence, such as something that digs under the ground. So that way you can stop things like coyotes from digging there. You want to make sure the fence goes down by one foot there. But if you're moving them around, here's what I might recommend for you. Electrifying your fence and making sure the area has tons of hiding places. Now, hiding places are a pretty good thing. Now, taller grass is recommended. However, it could corner the chickens between that. So you need a safe coop for them to run back inside to. That is exactly why we have these automatic coop doors right here. I'm hoping you can see. These automatic coop doors, they automatically open at sunrise and sunset. So if this door right here is open without a purpose, like let's just say I just go in there, collect eggs and leave it open. Yeah, that's purpose. But, you know, if I just went in there to check on one chicken laying an egg, that's not really purposeful or meaningful. You need to keep the door shut as much as you can. So that way, because, well, is a, is a fox really going to fit through this door? Maybe a really tiny one, but not a lot. But not a full-grown fox. And neither will a wolf or coyote fit right through this door. Because, well, if, if something gets through your automatic coop door, your automatic coop door is either huge or the predator is really tiny. Now one thing I've noticed a lot with people complaining about their chickens being missing is that a lot of these really big scaled attacks happen between the hours of 2 a.m. and 8 a.m. This is usually when the sun, this is usually when the sun is at its lowest, obviously. And this is also when predators are like, yeah, let's come out and get a chicken from this guy. And the cool thing about predators is that sometimes that they watch over your chickens. So if you notice something there, well, you can run at them and chase them away because most of them won't go right back at you unless they're like a whole pack of wolves. Then you know you're screwed unless you have like, unless you have like a 47 on you, you're not going, you're not going to live to see another day if you're surrounded by a pack of wolves. But you need to, but a lot of these attacks are actually planned. That's why you notice a huge gap between predatory attacks from predators. So you need to make sure you scale the, scare them off, but about uh, the attacks that happen between two in the morning and eight in the morning. This is when they're really scaling the yard and they're probably closest to your house because this is when you're sound asleep, hopefully. If you're still up at three in the morning, I don't know what you're doing. But anyways, you need your coops shut, but to be able to keep them from getting into your coop, you need it built really, really, really strong. And what if I were to tell you that building a chicken coop really strong is not even that hard? I have a full video talking about that. And you know, I'll probably make a follow-up video to that too. Now, preventing attacks from the sky, or aerial attacks as I like to call them, is really a little bit harder. Like, I'd rate the difficulty of preventing ground predators a little bit easier than preventing these predators. Because let's just say a red tail hawk comes through, and well, your yard is well open. Well, here's what you can do. Firstly, you can put up netting if you're going to keep them there for longer than like six or seven months. So usually if you're putting them in like a permanent winter location or a, or a permanent yard, then you can put up this mesh. But there's other things you can do 
to keep them temporarily out of your yard if you keep moving them. So first you can attach CDs. <laughs> no, I actually said CDs, believe it or not. You heard that right. If you have some old CDs in your house, like we do, we have like a lot of these really old CDs that they're like unburned. Like you can put like a little movie in them and stuff like that. And what you can do is you just put it up there and it, in the, in the actual like CD part, the part that if you scratch while well, you're screwed over, because that moron won't ever start up again, that part is going to shine at the hawk and it's going to tell me I shouldn't be here. Or if you don't have that, you can put tin foil up around your yard. Make sure it's out of reach of your chickens, please. You don't want another foam issue like I did. So put them up in the coop, put them in every possible location, and even maybe even get some owl figures or owl figurines if you want to get real fancy here. And see, the, all these posts, I would put an owl figure up on all of them. And also, you need to make sure you're removing them. Because if you don't, the red-tailed hawk or other predator is going to be like, yeah, I know these guys are fake. Because, well, you don't want them figuring out your secrets. I don't know why I can't talk.